been in the Vacaville area now for three and a half weeks serving St. John. I've met some wonderful people. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary, and we are Roads of Faith. <laughs> yes, we're still on our Roads of Faith. <sighs> we are so blessed. Where do you begin? Okay, first of all, our hosts, where we are parking our our home on their property, are the sweetest, most caring, thoughtful people. They're just wonderful. And they have all these wonderful um, animals, and we're out in the country, and... Um, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> we're, we go into their house quite often, for internet and we go into the house to do laundry because she insisted that I do laundry in her house and not at the laundromat and she's pretty influential persuasive, <laughs> persuasive? there we go persuasive <laughs> so yeah we they've just been awesome and, uh, and then the other day we went to go see a shut-in Rod's first wife passed away oh a long time ago and a friend of hers ended up becoming his second wife. She was a, quite a bit younger than he was and the promise that she made to her friend before she passed away was that she would take care of Rod. Well, God's plan was to have it be a little bit different. She developed Alzheimer's when she was 56 years old and so he has been taking care of her and she stays home he has round-the-clock care for her and so she can be at home and it's just a wonderful beautiful love story of talk about commitment and devotion and then that same day we went to have dinner with some other people from the church who talk about commitment and and uh, devotion. This particular couple has been taking in foster children for many years. And they actually had five of their own children by birth. And then they started taking in foster children and they adopted six of those children so all together, they have 11 children, and then they continued with foster care, and continued, and continued, and continued, and they had taken in well over 140 children over the years. Many of them are infants and uh, little, little ones, a lot of them have had health issues, major health issues. So it's been really hard and they just do it. I mean, they just, and some of them they have for months and months and months before they're placed in a permanent home where they're adopted. It's just, <sighs> there are not enough people like them in this world. And it is just so unselfish and so, just wonderful people. Today we're on our way to a Bible and Brunch. It's a women's mission group that meets once a month and they do it around breakfast. And in this case, more of a brunch, which, yeah, Bible, which is why they call it Bible and Brunch. Got it. I'm really yeah. glad it's a brunch and not a breakfast because it's, it's about a 40 minute, 45 minute drive from where we are, so <laughs> it's it's nice that it's a brunch. <laughs> so now we've been here for three and a half weeks. You've been going to different meetings and meeting different people. What's your spin on this whole? Re spin. Yeah, your your spin on this whole retirement thing. <laughs> retirement, not retired. <laughs> I'm not as nervous as I was. 
<laughs> it's been a good experience and I have enjoyed getting to know some of the people so far. Look forward to meeting more of them and uh, enjoying the sunshine today. Haven't had a lot of that, but we have enjoyed the milder climate. Yeah. And uh, look forward to being able to get out on some sunnier days soon. So we can Perhaps explore tomorrow. these. There's actually a trail. These are the Vaca Mountains. And there's actually a trail that we found out about that goes up into them somewhere. And we plan on doing that one of these days. Either after a Bible and brunch or after visiting a shut-in or after Sunday worship. Yeah. We're going to be here for another two months? Well, at least six weeks, but I think my wife has signed up for a few more weeks beyond that. <laughs> we have to see if we can renegotiate our contract for our living quarters. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to let us go. They keep telling me they're, <laughs> that they're not going to let us go, so it's nice to be loved. <laughs> when we first got here, we wanted to get them kind of geared up for thinking about the new pastor coming, Pastor Hoppy. And they've been working very hard on the parsonage, getting it ready. They've been doing a lot of work over there, uh, fixing things and, and uh, replacing things and just making it nice for them. It didn't have a choir director because the pastor that left was the choir director. So I volunteered to get them through the installation. And then just to be nice, to help them out, I planned a little beyond that. And we are doing up to Easter. But there is a couple guys in the choir that are very much equipped to do the directing. And things are going good. Feeling very comfortable here already. And we have six weeks to go. But we do have family to get back to in Wisconsin, and we have other family and friends we want to see along the way. So we will be leaving here eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we had the Bible, Bible and brunch, that's what they call it. Yeah. And then we went to the library so that we could work on another video quick. It is so much faster there. And then we discovered this walkway. It's just all kinds of trails through here behind the library, which is really neat. Nice little park across from here. Really pretty park. There's lots of different levels. You can walk up there, or you can walk down here, or you can go down this one and walk on there. This is so cool. That's the library right there, and that's the bridge we went over. So the really fun part about going to the library today was that we could do a Google Hangout with our daughter in Canada, who we haven't really been able to talk with much since we left there the end of November. We've been, of course, texting back and forth, and she's been sharing lots of pictures of the little boys and everything, but we haven't really had a chance to be any place where we could talk to them so we were able to get a private room and uh, for about half an hour and I read a story to to our little four-year-old grandson read him a story that I wrote for his birthday and this is the first we've even had a chance for me to be able to read it to him so he had it in his hands and they were going through it while I was reading it to him this is one of the struggles of living full-time in an RV and not having um, easy access to internet. It's been a little frustrating not being able to talk with the kids and stuff as much as we wanted to. 
So that's one thing we have to work out yet. We have lots of puzzles and lots of things we have to be working out and that's, that's just one more thing on the list, but it's pretty important. We wanna get that figured out. This must be, gosh, they got lights up strung up there. So they must do something in this part here. Maybe they have a farmer's market in here, maybe? Be a good place for a farmer's market. just uh, all um, connected to the Vacaville downtown area which we didn't realize there was a downtown Vacaville <laughs> I guess most towns do have a downtown but but uh, it's kind of an old-fashioned one lots of um, stores and shops and things uh, okay this talks about the Sacramento River watershed things that people can do to protect it and the trail just continues it's way down here too I think we have found a really cool place to go for a walk oh chimes trees. Don't see those in Wisconsin. really enjoying ourselves here we've been very blessed to be here they tell us that we are a blessing to them too so that's always good to know <laughs> but it will be time to move on eventually we'll tell you how that feels when the time comes in the meantime we're gonna keep going on our walk and let you guys go. Bye-bye.